Hey everyone, in this video I'll be talking about Brandmark.io. Uh, it's a platform which is going to help you create your own logo for your business and is going to help you a lot with just customizing your logo and making sure that it's like suitable for your business. Uh, and just like it says here, create a unique professional logo for your business, kickstart your brand with business card designs, social media graphics, app icons, letterheads and more so it's going to be a platform that's going to help you a lot with that kind of thing and it does include a lot of tools uh to use to do so if you go to tools here you can see all uh the tools that they provide or some of them at least ai color wheel a uh, logo rank font generator a uh, logo crunch or sometimes even like it gives you ideas uh, so let's say you created a logo, but you're still not sure about it. It's going to give you, uh, like generated ideas, which are like going to be similar to the logo that you have created, but different in a better way. And then you can just ch pick it. So it's going to help you a lot in creating your logo. And we will be, de we'll be doing that, uh, right now. So before we actually start let's see the pricing because it's not a free platform you can design your logo for free and i'm going to show you that right now but in order to actually get the logo uh, you would need to pay um one time either it's the basic and you pay 25 one time and one time only you don't really it's not a monthly thing you just pay one time you're good to go or pay designer uh the 65 dollars one time and you will get uh let's start with basic basic you get that gives you the option to uh, basically get the logo and png format uh and then for the designer you will get logo source files brand style guide uh, business card designs facebook covers uh, profile and app icons and uh letterhead designs and more stuff and you can see uh things uh that are made with this designer and here if you just click over here and then if you have if you want even more you will get everything in, in from the designer and you will get uh 10 for the original concepts created by their design teams so they will actually help you even more than they already do so you can just see some samples here if you want uh, and just things like that if you click here you will see samples and stuff to uh, different things so if you want logo files you can see samples uh, of that for like the, for like omni here they give samples over omni you will see how uh it would look like and stuff but let's not get into that uh let's just go ahead and start making our logo using it so in order to start we simply just go to brandmark.io uh, and then we click on create my logo and then here uh you either log in or you don't it's up to you obviously if later on you want to get the logo and you paid for it you would need to log in uh here you need to type in your brand name and slogan so the best brand names are short memorable and easy for to to google uh, so I'm I'm not really going to let's just type in tutorial explains and slogan you just if you want a slogan it's not it's it's not necessary it's optional as you as you can re read here let's just type in uh, easy tutorials sure uh, and then we just click on next. From here, it will actually tell us uh, or ask us to choose a few keywords. So th but basically, this is going to help them get an idea of what are we trying to create here. Like what's really our thought process? What is this company about? So depending on your company. So if your company is uh, for techno technological stuff, like you, you would just type in technology in the keyword section it's depending on what what type of logo you want so uh let's just type in like what i'm trying to do here uh let's see examples we've got let's let's just do our own let's just type in nature 
that's one word we can do more like uh, fire maybe uh let's go with that kind of theme and uh let's just go with this i'm not going to add more you can obviously add more uh, which will give an idea uh, to uh, brandmark to create more customizable or more personalized i mean uh logos for you to choose from but obviously you get to customize them uh later on with your own personal preferences so let's continue on and then here we will choose either a color from the bottoms here so if you want to just have uh red highlighted highlighted then we just choose that if it's blue we want then we choose that or we can just uh, select a color style here or color scheme so like organic dark or whatever it may be let's just go with dark obviously it's not just going to be these colors that you see on there but it's just the the concept so if we want it dark we we'll go dark if we want high contrast we do so like that so we simply just uh, select the one we want or a color if you want but i'm just going to go for dark here and then i'm just going to uh, click on next so now you just need to give it uh, a few moments and it will give us multiple ideas to choose from and then we go from there now yeah as you can see right off the bat this one is actually amazing but let's say i want to check out the rest i can simply just uh move past and you can see plenty of logos here to choose from so let me see this one is a very nice you can simply just keep scrolling and see which one you like and then from there you just move on to actually uh customizing it personally or just make it more of your own style so let's say the previous one i liked best so if you just go back to it you can save them by the way uh here so you can come back to them later if you want to edit them and work with them so here tutorial explains uh easy tutorials that's the slogan uh so i like this you can simply just if you like it you're happy with it you don't want to customize it you can simply just purchase like i said if you pay one time it's going to be download instead of purchase so you can simply just download the icon but here let's just edit the icon here so we've got a few categories or filters here that we need to work our way with so name is going to be this one right here uh, and then slogan is going to be the easy tutorials we've got icon background and layout so let's start with the name Tutor tutorial explains i'm not going to change that but we can also change the color if you want so uh you simply just choose like if if it has a gradient you simply choose the color over here and then choose the other color over here and it's going to be as you can see on the screen but maybe you want to add another thing in the middle so we can just maybe make it a little bit uh, like goldish oh I didn't mean to change this one. If we just go back to it, select the first one, make sure that it is selected and just put it back to kind of orangey or like I'm trying to make it gold. And in the middle, I'm just going to make it more of a yellow. And then here it's just going to remain the same and you can add more to it if you want the gradient to be more expressive. So once you're happy with the color, you can just simply exit out. And now we have uh, some options to work with here. For example, font size. We, we can make it bigger by just dragging. So we can just make it bigger or smaller depending on how we want it. We can increase the boldness, which I am going to be doing with that right now. Just like so. Obviously, you can go real bold, but we don't want that. Let's just keep it at 1.2. Right, and then we can also increase the spacing between the letters, like so. Uh, actually, I think I... No, no, let's just keep it like this. This is good enough. Right, light and space, if you have a line between them, you can just increase that, but we don't have that right now. And then you can just obviously move them left or right. So we can actually do something like um like this maybe and we can just move this a little bit to the right 
but let's actually keep it to the middle. So we can just type in here zero. It's going to be easier for us to do that. And we can also change the font from here. So uh, I'm not going to change it. I like the one we have right now, but uh, obviously you can just search for a font or you have things like modern, classic, playful, handwriting. It's up to you. You get a lot of filters to work with and you can just choose it. I'm, I'm not going to change it. So let's just keep it this way. Same thing is for slogan. Nothing changes here. Let's just change the color and move on. So like I said, you can just change the color and make it a single color or we can make it a gradient. We can also do this. So uh, if we want to make it a little bit goldish to match the one on top, maybe like so, and maybe like so. I don't know what I'm doing with colors. I'm not good with colors, but you get the idea. You can see now it has a gradient to it. And then obviously font size, boldness. Let's actually increase the boldness a little bit, just a little bit, and we are good. And then we obviously have the rest of the things that we discussed. It's going to be the same thing as well as the fonts. So let's let's change the font for this for the slogan. Why not? Right now it's a little bit better now. Okay, so icon is going to be where you add a icon. So browse icons, we have this one, uh, as you can see right here, tutorial explains. They have it instead of the A. So we can just uh, maybe change it. We can search for it. like, maybe they have fire icon, maybe. Okay, so we've got plenty of icons here. So if we choose one of them, maybe this one, as you can see, is just going to change. Or we can, uh, the, the one that was recently like there is going to be in recent icons. You can find it so you won't really get lost. Uh, maybe I change the one I used and I just put this one maybe. Yep, I like that one. Uh, and I can also change the color of the icon. Let's not make it too ridiculously obvious and just have it as, oh, can I actually change the gradient? Hold on, let me try something. Nope, it's a solid color. So let's just go color and go uh, a little bit yellowish. Okay, so you can also move it if you want up and down. So let's just keep that at zero and uh, top, left, right, the spacing. Uh, obviously, I don't think that works. Uh, with this but if there's like two objects you can have spacing between them a replace letter if any and then icon size you can just increase the icon size and make it uh, fit well with the uh, one you have okay let's just change this a little bit make it actually like yellow yellow all right I think I'm happy with this. Okay, now next up, we've got background. Now, this is going to be a container if you want. Some people like it, some people don't. If you click on containers here, here you will find uh, all of these options. And you can also uh, choose whether it's going to be filled or outline. So uh, maybe I just put a circle around it, like this one, maybe. And this is not going to work with my logo because it's very long horizontally. So this circle is just not going to uh, really work well with us. Uh, so I would actually prefer if I don't have a container, but maybe maybe we try one more thing just just uh, just to make it like clear on how it's going to look like. So we've got this, for example. So we can change things here. We can change these sides. We can make it bigger. So maybe it can fit our logo well. Actually, now that I think about it, if I put the circle and increase the size, it should be good, just like this. Okay, I think that worked well. Okay, and we can then change the color to be a little bit... Uh, I think this works well. Okay, so we've got 
Oh, uh, we've got the container. If you don't want it, just click on none like I did right now. And you can obviously change it to go top, bottom, left, right. It's up to you. Uh, let's, let's just keep it at that. And then you can obviously change the background color, uh, which is black right now. Uh, let's, you can, I'm going to show you how, what I mean exactly, but let's keep it the same. It looks more luxurious this way. And this, let's just keep it at that. This is the container color, obviously. Let's keep it at this. And then finally we've get a uh, layout and layout is going to change the layout of a uh, slogan and text and stuff. You can see how it looks like. So if you have the logo right here, it's going to be like that. And then you can also edit uh, it to be different. If you go back and maybe we don't like the color, we can change it back to how it was like this. And maybe we're happy with this and you lay out. I actually may actually keep it instead of this one. Who knows? And then we can play around again with how we want it. So maybe now let's just put the name up top a little bit like so and icon also we go icon top increase it up top and then the slogan as well just put it up top a little bit to match and let's just keep it at this so let's say we're happy with our logo now so now you can you know exactly what to do with your logo and how to edit it so to exit out, you could simply just click on the X and now you are done. So you simply can just uh, purchase if you want to actually start using your icon or logo. I mean, you can save it uh, if you have logged in, obviously, and then you can also get ideas from here. And it's just going to give you different color ideas if you want. If it's not colors, you want uh, maybe font ideas uh maybe icon ideas layout ideas it's all up to you and it's just going to change how your logo looks so you pick one that you like most and just go along with it but generally that's all you need to know really on uh, in uh, like creating a logo using a brand mark it's really really easy to use and helpful i hope that you liked this video and thanks for watching